What happens when you only eat food from Rainforest Cafe for 24 hours? Today, I put my body on the line in the ultimate test of physical and mental fortitude in hopes that I could retrieve the Holy Grail. Wait, wait am I really doing this? Good morning from the Animal Kingdom parking lot. Today, we are not here for a fun day at the theme park. No, we're here because this is the only location for Rainforest Cafe that serves breakfast. <laughs> Brady, let me ask, have you been here before? I have lived here in Orlando for five years now, and I have never been to Rainforest Cafe here in Florida. I'm originally from Tennessee, and I've only been to one Rainforest Cafe, and that is in Nashville, Tennessee at the Opry Mills Mall. Yes, like the title said, I will be eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner here at the Foster's Home for shitty animatronics. So without further ado, let's head inside and eat some breakfast. Here it is, first thunderstorm of the day. Ooh, spooky, spooky. If I could guess how many thunderstorms we're getting today, I'm gonna say 15 at minimum. For those who might not know, Rainforest Cafe's luscious landscape turns a little sour every 15 minutes with this thunderous thunderstorm. So based off me being here for near 12 hours today, we'll be hitting a lot of thunderstorms. Breakfast has been delivered. I ended up going with a fairly healthy choice, in my opinion at least, the breakfast nachos, which is tortilla chips, scrambled eggs, cheddar and jack cheese, pico de gallo, and cilantro crema, as well as a specialty drink that I think they might only make here at this Animal Kingdom Rainforest Cafe, which is the Rainforest Ricky. This is a mix of pineapple, orange, apple, strawberry, and grapefruit juices. That's actually pretty good. So I got the most basic breakfast you can get here. I got the smoked bacon, scrambled eggs, uh, white toast, and potato fries. And I believe it was $16 around there. So my first impression of these nachos is, um, what part of this is breakfast? I know it said it had eggs, but if you look, like, I can't even find any eggs in here just off first glance. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do some digging. Eight minutes in and I have not even made a slight dent into this massive plate of nachos. And although I did find eggs in here, it's kind of strange to me that the first ingredient they list is eggs. Not only that, but out of all the ingredients, I think eggs might even be like the cheapest thing that's in here, yet there are very few and far between. Also, the more and more I consume this drink, the more it just tastes like a, a melted smoothie. Not in a bad way, but it's just, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't order this. One thing I've noticed about the Rainforest Cafe for breakfast is not only am I super sleepy, but also a lot of these animatronics. The reason I say that is because a lot of these animatronics are barely moving, if at all. Like this elephant is blinking and that's it. I feel like they need some time in the morning to warm up, so I'll give them that. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but by far the number one reason I moved to Orlando is because we are blessed with two locations of Rainforest Cafe. Kristen, are you happy? I'm so excited! Woo! <laughs> I had to work pretty hard to convince my sister to come along with me for the second half of this video, so thank you so much to Kristen for joining me for this this next, uh, the, the next two meals. <laughs> I honestly do not know why Disney bothers keeping up their safari over at Animal Kingdom or even the Jungle Cruise at Magic Kingdom because if somebody's here on vacation wanting to get their wildlife fix here at Disney World, like there's only one location that could really truly provide the best experience and that's either of their Rainforest Cafe locations. No, I know this might surprise some people, but I have never been to the Rainforest Cafe at all here at Disney World, not Animal Kingdom and not here at Disney Springs. And that is including the Lava Lounge. It's very windy and it's gonna be my first time there. <laughs> now what I'm expecting from our experience here today for lunch and dinner are of course some craft, handcrafted cocktails. I expect like top, top shelf everything. It should be very tasty as well as some like beautifully crafted entrees and appetizers. Um, just by the best chefs around. That's what I'm expecting. I sense some irony in her voice. One very special thing about the Disney Springs location of Rainforest Cafe is that they have an extra restaurant lounge attached to it, and that's actually where we're gonna be eating lunch today. That's right, we are dining at the Lava Lounge. To my knowledge, as of right now, it does have the same menu as the main Rainforest Cafe here at Disney Springs, but it is a different atmosphere, a different setting, and I kinda wanna provide some variety of this video so we're not just hearing thunderstorms every 30, 20, 15 minutes or so. So we have found our seats here at the Lava Lounge for lunch and the menus like right away, I know exactly what we have to get. And that has to be the wild wonders of the jungle. 
which is it's like a, a an appetizer taster tray and I'm trying to keep it light because this is the second of three meals that I'm eating at Rainforest Cafe today. This is probably one of the poorest financial decisions I've made in a very long time. I don't know who should buy this. I also don't know how much this costs when I agreed to buying this, but the price is listed below. <laughs> I got a cha-cha sipper, which if you didn't know is the name of the mascot of Rainforest Cafe, the little frog guy, and he's got a little straw sticking out of the back of it's like one of those like sippers that you would have going to the soccer game growing up like the 90s models and i'm sure that's exactly when this was manufactured i didn't get anything too special in here i literally just got a lemonade because they don't serve alcohol on these because it'd be too easy to confuse it for the kids <laughs> um it's very hard to drink out of i'll tell you that and get about like three drops out of here I take full responsibility for Ryan's purchase. As soon as I saw this little beauty on the menu, I said, Ryan, you have to get that. So sorry, Isabel, but um, you have a new little pet. I actually have a really funny story about this guy here. Um, one of my sister, one of our sisters, um, <laughs> one of our sister's um, childhood friends used to work at Rainforest Cafe and dress up as Cha-Cha, the frog. That's how I knew, that's how I knew that uh, this name was Cha-Cha. Character integrity. She was friends with uh, Cha-Cha the frog, I meant. Um, and she would put on the little froggy suit. <laughs> at the ball in New Jersey. <laughs> Although we don't have the animatronic animals, we do have some guests that are often driving by when sitting here at Lava Lounge. That is right, the boathouse car boats drive right by the Lava Lounge here, so you could get some guests and you could wave to them, you could be a little... Woo! For lunch, we've decided to go with the awesome appetizer adventure, which is chimichachas, spinach, and artichoke dip. What does this say? Am I saying it wrong? What are you laughing at? <laughs> Why is it chimichacha? Why is it called chimichachas? <laughs> Spinach artichoke dip. Where is the chimmy coming from? <laughs> well, the, the cha-cha is that. I know that's cha-cha, but like, where is the chimmy coming from? Which comes with chimichachas, spinach and artichoke dip, cheese sticks, and chicken strips. And this dish will run you $24.99. First, I think I'm gonna be looking to dig into whatever these are. What are these things over here? Look, look are those like, the chimichachas? <laughs> they look like Southwest egg rolls. Let's see how this looks up close. You see this? Wow, that is shockingly good. I feel like I feel like most of this just dish seems like things that were like previously frozen and they just like kind of heat up and put it all in one, but also like this is like Friday's quality, which is that sounds that sounds bad, but this is really good. I do really like this a lot. This definitely is a Southwest egg roll. It's got a bunch of beans and chicken on the inside as well as like not it's it's a little dry. That's the one downside of this one. The real test is breaking into the spinach artichoke dip that looks like it has a very thick crust on the top of it. Not because that's the way it was made, but it's been sitting out for a little bit now because we take our time. You want to go for it? Oh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, you're, look at that film on top. Interesting film on top of the spinach artichoke dip. Let's take a bite, ASMR. Spinach artichoke ASMR. It's not bad, but it's also not great. I mean, like, it's spinach artichoke dip. It's not better than Applebee's, I'll tell you that. I do not like mozzarella sticks that much, so you have what? to take you have to take my review as, as, with a pinch of salt. I do not like mozzarella sticks. I don't know. Kristen's gonna have to tell you because I never go for this on any menu. Like, I, the only time I have it is when it's on a, a dish like this. Unlike Ryan, I would go for a mozzarella stick on a menu. One of the greatest appetizers of all time. They're not very cheesy. They don't have much flavor. Um, out of all the things we tried so far, this is probably the worst on the platter. But these chicken tendies, these chicken tendies look, look at fire! They look really good! <laughs> on a scale of Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe chicken tenders versus Pinocchio's Village House chicken tenders, it's right in the middle. It's just a standard Disney chicken tender, and that's exactly what I expected from this. But at the price of $25 for this whole platter, if you're splitting it between three or four people, it's definitely worth it as an appetizer and then just split that evenly between different checks. As a single, like one-off, if you're one person, if you're really hungry, get it, but 
I think I would probably go with just a regular entree, which we'll be trying the main course entrees very, very soon. Not only do I feel like a super silly boy for having to drink out of cha-cha today, but every time I pick him up, I feel like I'm like choking him. <laughs> like, oh, you get over here. <laughs> As we wrap up lunch here, we did just get the bill, and I have no idea how much this cha-cha like sipper ended up costing me. Um, I'm gonna make some guesses. <laughs> okay, so here are my guesses, and Kristen is gonna tell me if it's higher or lower. I'm gonna say $10. Higher. Higher? Okay, uh, $15. Higher? Lower? Oh, oh, that's not as bad. I thought it was going to be like $40. Zipper. It's a lot cheaper than it's it like was. It's like twelve ninety nine or something? It's ten forty nine. Ten forty nine? Yeah. That's, that's a deal. Bear in mind, all of the zippers that Disney sells in the parks are anywhere from like $15 to $25. Like all of these right here. And I'm telling you, Cha Cha is way more iconic than any of those characters. You don't even, I don't even recognize any of them. To avoid 20 minutes straight of me sitting at Rainforest Cafe table, regardless of where it is, we're going to do a little bit of shopping and we're gonna see what we could find here at the gift shop anything fun that guy's looking at you weird who's looking at me oh my god as soon as we walked into the gift shop I had an idea that Ryan absolutely has to get a shirt to finish out this video I really don't want to <laughs> I mean if it's for just the end of it what shirt do you want me to get this one <laughs> got frogs <laughs> it glows in the dark Ooh, that's a that's a keeper right there. Did they go up to 2XL? <laughs> I'm a little worried this is a kids only shirt. <laughs> See what they got. Ooh, this is pretty big. 2XL, look at that. You want to see a quick transition shot? Ready? And I'll, I'll buy it, I'll put it on. Hey friends. <laughs> Today, we're at the Rainforest Cafe in Disney Springs. Uh, we're eat some food not ride any rides and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day. So, anywho, let's, let's go, go do this. this. <laughs> well, I am still holding the cha-cha. I saw this shirt. This is actually kind of cool. Like, I actually like this shirt here. $65. It's like embroidered. It's very, very like old school reminiscent. Does it have anything on the back? No. Okay, it good. Like it's thrifted, though. You know? It like, low-key like, kind of does. Yeah. Like, I have some uh, ones from the Disney store that are like this that like my mom got back in the day and also, in case you were wondering, they do have some Stanley dupes here. Peace, Love, and Frogs Rainforest Cafe. You should get that for Isabel. No. <laughs> we don't have the cabinet <laughs> space, okay? <laughs> Cha-Cha needs a friend. Oh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> One major icon of the Rainforest Cafe restaurants is Tracy. Are you familiar with Tracy? Well, Tracy is a lady inside of a tree. And I only know her name's Tracy because it says, Hi, I'm the, the Tracy tree. <laughs> Um, fun fact, the Rainforest Cafe at Downtown Disney in California is now been converted to a Star Wars Outpost gift shop. Tracy, they just took her face out and now it's just like, they, they're maybe displaying, or it's just a hole and there's no Tracy anymore. But she is inside the gift shop there still, or at least her. Hello, I'm Tracy Tree. Here are some fun facts about the Excuse me, ma'am. What do you do if you don't mind me asking? What do you do for work? <laughs> What's like a YouTuber thing? <laughs> How much money did you make this year? <laughs> Imagine she answered. <laughs> I really, honestly, one thing that Universal has done very well over the past few years with little character installations is like there's an there's an actual like team member attached to like a microphone that could respond. So let me ask, Tracy, how are you doing today? Unfortunately, there's nobody attached to this. It's, it's pre-recording, but that's okay. After killing some time elsewhere at Disney Springs, the time is now 6.38 and it's time for dinner. So first reactions walking to the Disney Springs location of Rainforest Cafe here is that honestly, I kind of like the decor a little bit better in here. It's definitely, it feels like a much bigger space. It's also kind of hard for me to tell because the one over at Animal Kingdom, which obviously I've been in most recently, did not have this many people in it, most likely because it was breakfast time. So at this point, we are debating whether or not to order this ridiculous lava cake tower dessert. 
And I was like, I told Kristen, I'm like, if you want, I could order the dessert. And she's like, don't do that. I was like, I don't know. I mean, you spent an extra $20 on a flatbread we don't need. <laughs> it's only $16.49 actually. Listen, listen, I don't want to hear about this. I don't want to hear about it. I bought the $16.49 uh, flatbread, and uh, at least this was like the highest recommended thing. It, it comes with great praise, so at least there's that, I guess. Uh, I'm just trying to justify this ridiculous purchase. <laughs> Ah, all my favorites from the arugula flatbread. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't put the yucky stuff on there. Parmesan? This is basically just a cheese flatbread now. I've had a fair amount of comments in the past of people saying, Ryan, you're such a picky eater. Why would I watch your videos for reviews? Well, look at this. See, there's some green stuff on this cheese pizza right now. I am not a picky eater. Look, watch. Kristen, on a scale of one to 10, how was this flatbread? I'd say like a six. It was above average, or barely, just barely above average. It could have been worse. And it was a ridiculous value at $16.49. I just made this reference in my video, but we could have gone to a signature dining restaurant here at Disney World and got in the most expensive appetizer on the menu for the same price as a flatbread with no meat. I don't know if I kept a tracker of how many thunderstorms I got today, but this is getting a little, a little annoying. Honestly, I feel like the Lava Lounge was the best spot. <laughs> this is this is a bit much. Our main course has come to the table. I ended up going with the Rasta Pasta, which is sauteed chicken, broccoli, red peppers, spinach, garlic, pesto, Alfredo sauce on some panini pasta. And this will run you $23.99. I kept quiet while he was filming that clip of him describing the food, um, but I'm sure you all noticed that he called it the panini pasta instead of penne. So I just wanted to point that out and let everyone know. It's not panini pasta, it is penne. I know like Ryan likes to lie a lot and give you guys like wrong information, false information. I ordered the ribs, steak, and shrimp uh, trio platter. Uh, this is supposed to be the worst thing on the menu. That's why I got it. <laughs> how much How much was it? Don't ask me how much it was. $40. <laughs> so a couple bites into my dish, and I can already tell you, this is probably the best thing that I have had at Rainforest Cafe today. And that's, I mean, that's not saying a huge, like a lot, but this is really good. I definitely made the right decision. Just, just look at this. One thing that may have deterred me from ordering this dish is the fact that it has Alfredo in it. But let me just say, this Alfredo sauce is like really, really light. Like it's barely in here. Just because I'm just I'm not normally attracted to cheese dishes like this. But this is like, it's it's very it's watery, but in a good way. It's super good. I love this. As you might be able to guess, when there is two people vlogging the same exact meal for a theme park video, you have to take like a slightly different approach. Kristen today, like she had mentioned, is ordering some of the best and some of the worst from here. Mine, I was just like, ah, oh, I don't know, I'll go with this. But this was also listed as some some people's like worst thing that they would want, like not order here online when we, when she was looking up stuff here. And this is honestly super, super good. Maybe worth the $20, $24 cost or whatever. <laughs> I was 100% ready to drop $22 and some change on this like volcano cake thingy, but apparently based off of what we saw from another table, they do not light it on fire anymore. It's like not, they don't have a stick, they have, it's just like little like sparkly, like a party city like table topper that you would find is just on top of it now. So we will not be making the eighth poor financial decision, decision for the day today, but we will be recapping a little bit and kind of give you the overall thoughts. I'm not gonna lie, at the very end of this day, I was expecting to be extremely, extremely sick of Rainforest Cafe, but I feel like that like lava lounge, nice, relaxed lunch probably like smoothed out the annoyingness of the interior of Rainforest Cafe, or at least as an adult, the annoyingness. I, it's still very, very entertaining for kids. I can admit that. Out of the two Rainforest Cafe locations, I would probably prefer going to the one here at Disney Springs, not just because it's like a slightly bigger room and it's an actual volcano that erupts, but also the Lava Lounge is probably, I would recommend going there over anywhere else. It has the same exact menu as inside. And if you're looking to experience not the atmosphere, it does have the same price. Maybe I don't recommend this now. <laughs> no, 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 but really. I did like the Lava Lounge over anything else. If you're looking for some nice apps and drinks, this is a good spot, and it's normally not crowded at all during the day, especially if you're looking to get a little taste of Cha-Cha's brain. <laughs> that sounds weird. It's safe to say that I will not 
be doing this anytime soon, but I think I want to do some more like weird restaurant themed breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you have any suggestions, just so I know you made it to the end of the video, please let me know in the comments below what themed thing, whether it be Margaritaville, whether it be T-Rex Cafe, whether it be, I don't know, Bubblegum Shrimp Company, please let me know what you want to see in the future. And with that being said, thanks, pity viewers. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.